Hello everybody, welcome to a late night chill stream where we play some Skyrim. Uh, as you can see, I've applied an EMB to the experience to make it, you know, nice and aesthetic, as it were. Because uh, I kind of, I don't know, I just felt like um, making everything look nice and i mean i looked at the footage back and everything looked like it was gray i was like all right okay i'm gonna add an emb to this shit and so i've added the uh was that emb that everyone i don't know it's one of the special edition embs obviously it was it's a really i think it's like um scott scar msc re something i don't know we got a really well known emb uh see 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 it see how beautiful it is steel Nice it is, hold on, let me... Hello. Have a drink on me. Have hunting brew mead. There, you, you have some good weed, weed, mead, this time. I'll take the black briar from there. Why is there black briar mead in the Riverwood Inn? Surely that this place is closer to uh, hunting brew. Eh? I'm just a cook, lad. Righty, well, cool. My crappy Wi-Fi every time, what the fuck? See how, see how pretty gorgeous this game is? See, the depth of field thing is because in the distance, what happens is some of the textures get a bit wank and there's a dragon there, as, as there it usually is. Uh, I wonder who he's killed this time. A white run guard, well... I don't mind if I equip the scar. No? Do you mind? Really? Do you, do you fucking mind? Like, seriously? Oh shit, I've fallen in water. We get like a water retexture and finish, finish, finish the entire look. But so far, it looks rather decent. Come down then. Oh wow. You did that guy dirty, didn't you? Magnificent. We've already slain a dragon. We're off to a great start. This man's dead. So, in our last quest, we were actually over here at Septimus Cygnus's outpost. So, we're going to... Con so, and I just wanted to go over here to test in Riverwood. So, we're going to go over here and we're going to continue our adventure. Where's our Assassin's Creed fish are you? Maybe I just want to make other stuff. Like, I want to stream other things because it looks cool. Because it's fun. I don't know. Okay, so basically what happens is... Is this an Arno and Shay fan fiction stream? Sure. Do you like Skyrim more than Origins? Fuck yes. Honestly. Why does this thing follow me about everywhere? What's your business here in Winterhold? You're really blurry. Just passing through. Stay clear of that college. If you know what's good for you. Nothing but foul deeds behind those walls. If surely if you're in charge of the hold, you can just storm it and be like, we're gonna destroy this place. No, the... I don't get it. Why is the College of Winterhold allowed to function if the if Winterhold itself doesn't like it? Right, I'm off, fishy. I like the stream. Right, cheers, Dodzy. We're off in this way. We're off on an adventure. See, I should probably tone down the depth of field a little bit when I when it comes to it, but it does look fine. It's just about the distance. What happens when you get a, when you make a game? Um, what, well, when, with Skyrim and games like this, no money for fishing unless it's AC content. But trying hard to change that in the long run. Because with Skyrim, with long distance textures, right, everything starts to get a bit clippy and shit, as you can see over there. But with a bit of depth of feel, that everything sort of blurs out and it no longer becomes noticeable. And so the experience is ten times superior. See that? It's pretty nice looking, isn't it? Dispatchio. Late Night Skyrim is always the best, boys. Indeed. Pretty good looking as well. Have you finished God of War yet? I honestly haven't. I haven't really got around to it. Like, I've been 
too busy making content and then Detroit Became Human came along. We've got that out of the way now. Um, the next game that came out today actually, that's supposed to be arriving soon, that I'm going to probably stream is it's called Vampire with a Y. Someone, rec someone recommended it in my stream on Sunday and I took it, I looked into it and I reckon it'll make for a good series. Fuck off. Fuck odd. I, it, I'm late, it's tired. Obviously. Tackle dick. Dick. <laughs> Right, well, there's the shrine of big man. Ice Wraith, die. At least this one doesn't have a dwarven head. That, that really fucked me off last time. Right, potions. No dispatcher mentions. I don't get it. I can barely see this fucking Ice Wraith. Well, I've still killed it, but you know. Does it isn't Assassin's Creed? Yeah, it's not. Detroit Become Human is my game of the year. Detroit Become Human is really good. I don't want to drop into the sightless pit. The new Assassin's Creed looks like it could be maybe Aya's relative as she is Greek and the modern day girl's Aya's DNA, which means she has access to her ancestors too. Maybe, maybe, but we'll have to wait and see. Rec 5 will be even better than Infinity War. You never know. If Odysseus is going to be the last AC game, do they need to read it up on the website? Hold on. Facebook was up in the background, I apologise. Play Jurassic World Evolution when it comes out, I will. I actually really am looking forward to that game, because one of the games that I played as a kid was um, on the original Xbox, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, which was a park building game in which you'd basically build the, your park, you'd put dinosaurs and things in it, you'd have a really good time, and it was such a fun game, and when you get bored you just break a fence and have the T-Rex eat everybody, it was, it was amazing. But And I've wanted nothing more than a current generation experience of that. So, yes, I will play Jurassic World Evolution because that's what it looks like. It looks like a park builder, but, you know, it's obviously more based on Jurassic Park's reboot, if you will. Can't wait for Soldier 76 to come out. I played Operation Genesis 2, I love that game, it was beautiful. Evening lads, hello father. Althan Glacial Ruins. Am I the other one that's hyped for LEGO DC Villains? Oh god. Why does that game have to exist? Of all the of all the things that have to exist, that exists. Don't forget to leave a like on the stream everybody, that would be super appreciated. Look at how nice everything looks with this EMB, like how the lighting works and all that. Pretty damn nice, although the depth of field is maybe a bit strong. Other than that, it's pretty decent. I remember that game. It was amazing. Oh yeah. I, I have it on my computer. I could still I could play it right now if I wanted to, but I mean, we're currently doing Skyrim. <laughs> I've pre-ordered it, and you get extra shit. Ooh, I might have to. I'll wait until I get paid, and then I'll worry about that. Just want to play the intelligent boy. Top three favourite games, uh, The Witcher 3, God of War and Skyrim probably, not in any particular order either. Skyrim's definitely up there because it's just so full of cool, so you, it's the universe and the feeling of the universe is a huge influence on why I love Skyrim. And also the modability and that, you know, personalised experience that you get on my PC and now consoles as well with the special edition on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. You can almost personalise it and make it and engineer the game how you want to play it, and that's what I love about Skyrim. The Skyrim, The Witcher 3, which is just a spectacular game that doesn't need personalising because it already feels personal. 
and it's just fantastic, a great story, and filled with great characters. This guy needs to die. And the God of War is just another amazing story that feels super personal, but at the same time, he doesn't have to do anything to go out of his way to be such. It's about personal experiences that feel like a, like an homage to the player as much as the franchise. The Witcher 3 and God of War did that perfectly. So those games are up there, and definitely Skyrim. Other games that I really like, uh, obviously Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, that's up there, that's probably like in a solid 4th or 5th. Red Dead Redemption. Um, Jurassic Park, Operation Genesis. Hi, the Tasmanian Tiger 2, that was a game I played as a kid and I fucking love it to this day. No idea why. You play PS4 or Xbox? I play PS4, but I'm currently on PC. Look at, look at that journal and all the textures on it. I changed my name for a joke, but I can't change it back. Hmm. That's a shame, isn't it? Kermit the Frog Studios 2. What was your name before that? Just Kermit the Frog Studios. Oh, you need to die. I'm not talking to you, Kermit. I'm talking to the spheres that are making my life hell. Oh dear. Don't, don't fuck with me. Oh shit. Well, I got killed. I absolutely despise those things. They just come out of nowhere. Assassin's Creed 3 top one. They just come out of nowhere and they mess you up. Jesus Christ, there's two of them. There always is. But oh, I have an idea. You don't have to fight everything that moves in the crit. Although they're making it hard for me to escape them. My name is Connor, I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I watched a video on Detroit Become Human, in which it's Hank reacts to every time Connor comes back from the dead. And there's the one outside the... Um, well, there's one at the, uh, what is it, the, the burger place, and and he just sees Connor when he turns around, he's like, oh, what the fuck. I find it really funny that they couldn't think to at least alter things, it's quite funny. I'm just feeling the spheres behind me. They can't get through these though. Or maybe a drought of health will come in handy here. I thought there was three of them then, I was like, oh, fuck's sake. Well, I'm fucked. Oh god, no, I'm not. I'm not fucked. Quick, run. Through. Jesus Christ. I love your channel, your content is just perfect. I love how you include your own opinion. Keep up the good work. Cheers. Fuck shit. What do you mean they were on the other side of the door? What do you mean? Right, well, we can't. We have, we have to do this. These dwarven spheres are severely over level. I don't understand how they came to be here. It's really annoying. I don't get it. They just. The, when you go into dwarven ruins, 
in the main quest. They, they're just over leveled. They're not saying what you do on Isla Nublar is a sauna yet. But it's just like other islands. Sounds like either sandbox or just recapture. And about um, Jurassic World Evolution, I think it's going to be um, it's just going to be like a build your park sort of thing. <clears throat> you invest in it, you uh, you research, you know, get more visitors. I hate Zona Ruins. Oh yeah, same. They're so full of wonder. Don't tell me there's two. Oh, fucking stickly prick. Well, critical strike. That's always a, it's always key, isn't it? Oh, I know it would probably work. Battle cry. Except these are these are machines, not people. Cheats. Oh. No. Oh, they see what the problem is with TGM in a fucking d impossible situation. What's the point in this? You could just lean in and yeah. You mind, really. There's, there's the, that one's there, but you notice that one first. It's really weird. Oh, the Falmer now. We're going to run into them. Bob Ross is my dad. Bob Ross is your nan. <laughs> Nathan 530 says exactly what I say. Bob, Bob, Bob Ross is my nan. Classic Nathan. Let's unlock this door. You play the Witcher 3 music on Skyrim. I have a mod that in that is that is enhanced well, it's added more tracks to the soundtrack. And for some reason, I didn't even realise, but some of the tracks in that are Witcher tracks. Which is always good. If I, does Skyrim crash if we use the console and cheat? No, Skyrim will just crash inevitably anyway, because it's Skyrim. It's one of the most broken games to ever exist, and yet it's so collectively broken that it only breaks in certain ways. So regardless regardless of whether or not you mod Skyrim, what you do with Skyrim, yeah, there will be a point where the game is just going to fucking crash on you. Bye guys, alright, I'll go over TV, take care. Fuck your chicken strips. Haven't tried. There we go. Thank you for existing there, kind sir. It's a massive chest there, I don't want to bother. Too many, it's a waste of lockpicks. If I want to play a game like this, whether where would I start? Witcher or Skyrim? They're different games. They're completely different games, in all honesty. Like, The Witcher is something else completely. Whereas Skyrim's a proper, like, you know, sandbox RPG. The Witcher is, I wouldn't say it is, I wouldn't say it's sandbox. It's a, a bit more, it takes a while for it to get going. And also, it's a it's, a, it's more character-driven story. Where Skyrim's your sort of adventure. Right, let's level up. Hi, dude. How's it going? It's going good. Increase the health. 210. Oh. I need to acquire all this shit. See the lighting changing in the background, it's because the television's on but muted. See it's on the sky Q box and sky, sky Q boxes for some reason. Unless the unless if if it's not what's gonna happen is the, the television downstairs will go off and eventually that'll shut off my Q box. But as long as the television's working up here it won't shut off. But if I tried to fire it up after the one downstairs shuts off, it just don't work. So I've got it, I've just got it on in the background, so that's what the that's what the light flickering is about if you noticed it. It's very very minimal, but you know, it is what it is. Was Witch 3 better than AC Origins? By miles, yeah. 
AC Origins is great. Just imagine how fucking spectacular The Witcher 3 is. Can't believe Tyler hasn't played The Witcher 3 yet. Like, I'm sure he'd be able to appreciate The Witcher 3. I mean, I know he does, but he should fucking play it. He'd love it. Right, well, they're all dead, aren't they? Lichen. Yeah, nom nom nom. Tasty lichen. No idea why I had that, but cool. Don't forget to leave a like on the stream, show with your friends, and subscribe if you're new. Ethan, Cameron, the boy. The boy, the gamer, the lad, and the kid. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's go. Right. Where are we? Oh, God. What's this marker taking me to? Please don't run into any more of those dwarven bollocks. They get annoying. Oh, shit. I'm on fire, and it's not very nice. Okay, you need to... Yeah. Who's for speech in Greece to 27? That's what you call speech, then dogs barking and merchants. Use dagger and destruction spells with sneak. Dagger and destruction spells with sneak. In Tyler's defense, I've not played The Witcher 3 either. That's not much of a defense. You should play The Witcher 3 too. <laughs> Oh, I, I understand with Tyler, to be fair. He's got a very busy life in The Witcher 3. When you start playing it, you don't want to stop. What's your favourite RPG of all time? What, what are your favourite RPG games of all time? Favourite RPG of all time is The Witcher 3. Fa um, the Witcher 3, Skyrim. It's more or less my favourite game of all time. Favourite RPGs. Uh, Oblivion. Morrowind. See? Basically, all the Scrolls games, and they are beautiful. Fallout 3. I do like me some Fallout 3. Uh, not a huge fan of Fallout 4, but I can appreciate it. Um, Plenty of great RPGs out there. Assassin's Creed Origins is a decent RPG. I'll give you that. Once the stream is done, I'm gonna I'm gonna order Witcher through on Amazon. Perfect. It's a good time. I can assure you, you will you will be relieved that you didn't you will be relieved that you didn't hold out on it any longer. Because I, I mean, I did. I only started playing Witcher three in 2017. And when I started playing that game, I was like, holy fuck, I've been missing out on this for nearly two years. To be fair though, I got the full package, I got to finish the story, then play Hearts of Stone and Blood of Wine. And it was... And I mean, I got the full experience there, and I really enjoyed it. You play other games, games other than RPGs? Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, I do play the odd game here and there. Uh, God of War isn't quite an RPG. It's it's, like, it's nearly that route, but it's not. Uh, Detroit Become Human isn't. It's a narrative-based experience. I've been through here and I've killed everybody. Uh, that how I'm, Okay, genocide, m my middle name. Right. Oh yeah, I went, I went the wrong way, that's why. Um, yeah, Detroit Become Human isn't an RPG at all. Uh, oh, I've played, played a few. Most Assassin's Creed games aren't RPGs, they're just weird open world games. I am back brothers, all hell big Dave, all who accept him. Yes. You think Laser's channel will suffer from his video today? No, I think. I think his video today was fucking hilarious. And it's also sadly true. There are a, there are, there is a huge amount of the community, the Assassin's Creed community, sorry that are very blind to what's criticism and what's hate. And what James and me and Tyler and George have displayed in the past is criticism, it's genuine criticism coming from a place of care. But a lot of people are like, oh, you just hate us. Oh, no, no, we wouldn't, be, we wouldn't be going into this much detail and putting this much effort into explaining it if we wanted to hate on the franchise. If we wanted to hate on the franchise, we'd call it shit, call it a day, and just go home, go about our business, doing whatever else we want. But no, we sit there and we explain, we explain what we think, 
and why, or what we thought even, because James Jordan Tyler are sort of eight, sort of become a bit, you know, estranged from it at this point. And I understand that completely. Because we'll sit there and we'll try to make it, ex we'll try to explain it in a way that it makes sense. We're trying to be fair as well. We are trying to be fair, but at the same time we're trying to be critical because we know that Ubisoft won't listen. And a lot of people need to hear the point as it is. So we're firm but fair. And people will dismiss that as hate. People will uh, get pretty bloody angry over it and consider us to be haters and all that stuff. When in reality, we just want the franchise to be as good as we thought it used to be. Um, which is a shame, really. Obviously, we just find it funny, but at the same time, we know that through all this, there's a bunch of fans here, that there is a core fan unit that will just take what, well, basically will eat shit from Ubisoft. And that is not... And, and that's why they will never listen to us, because there is a... Because just as much as there are critical people, there's a unit, there's a unit of fans that are equally as loud with their voices, going, yeah, more of this, please. And that's why Ubisoft won't listen to us. And we, um, we kind of accept that those people are allowed to have their opinions. But... Mm, kind of funny. Could I see me around with Darius? What do you think about Spider-Man PS4? Oh, I'm looking forward to that. I really am. I really am looking forward to Spider-Man PS4. It looks good. I mean, it's really good to follow the set for Origins. Origins, exactly. It's ridiculous if that's the case. That would just, just be hilarious, wouldn't it? And you know what? I don't put it past Ubisoft doing it at this point, because you know if they're if they're gonna fuck it, they might as well do it. I've just ordered I've just ordered The Witcher 3 on Amazon. It's a good it's a good purchase, my friend. You'll enjoy. If only Ubisoft did listen, Assassin's Creed could be amazing. Yeah, it really could. I mean. At the same time, amazing is down to who's, it's down to the eye of the beholder, isn't it? Like, what I might consider to be amazing might not be someone else's idea. Aha, it's a ballista aimed at a door, how, how perfect. Okay, okay, I just got shot by something. Big Dave equals bot. Yeah, we're all aware at this point. We know. I put him there. Because he's a bot. He's there to enforce presence in the chat. Don't forget to leave a like on the stream, show with your friends, hit subscribe if you're new. I'm getting attacked by a robot. Oh, well, he got chopped. Assassin's Creed is amazing, well, at least three games. <sighs> I mean, is Assassin's Creed amazing at this point? It used to be fucking fantastic. It used to be one of the best gaming franchises going, in my opinion. Back when the yeah, SEO trilogy was getting about. And Black Flag sort of reminded us of this. Origins did the same, reminded us of the potential of Assassin's Creed being amazing. But as long as Ubisoft refuse to change their ways on how they make Assassin's Creed games and all the inconsistencies that they're going to have with them and all that, and all and the fucking convolution of just all this extended media in which all the main stories are going into, when we invested our when we were investing our interest into a gaming franchise, we wanted to see us pull off in a game, not in a comic book. It's gotten to a point where Assassin's Creed, honestly, I wouldn't say it's amazing anymore. I'd say it's, uh, you know, I wouldn't say it's bad. I'd say it's eh, if you know what I mean. I'm being fair here, you know. A bad game is a game that I can't stand, but at the same time I can respect because it's bad. It's just bad. <laughs> the game's just bad. It's funny. That's, that's my logic here. Mediocre games are what really get on my nerves. Because it's a game you can't remember whichever way you play it. And that's what some Assassin's Creed games have been. Assassin's Creed Syndicate, mediocre. Unity, mediocre. Rogue, I'd say that's more on the scale of good. I mean, obviously gameplay-wise and open world-wise, pretty mediocre. But I like the story, so I'd say it was good. Uh, Black Flag, fucking fantastic. I love Black Flag. Origins, fucking fantastic again. I absolutely loved it. Assassin's Creed 3, I'd say between mediocre and good. It's not... It's, I'm, I don't hate Assassin's Creed 3, but at the same time, it's... I don't know. Uh, and before that, they're all bloody amazing. See? There's no death kill. Fuck shit. Really? Bro. Any chance? Is there any way out of here? 
but I want to know. It's the moment I go out there. Right, well, I'm fucked, aren't I? Testicle gets eaten by a shark. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do this. Why haven't you yourself actually been masked lately? Oh, it's the ballista. It's because I fired it, it fired at me. Oh, right, okay. Well, I completely... I think I just glitched the game because there's nobody up there. Oh, no, it might be rigged to a trap or something. We'll see. Imagine Origins with Black Flag Combat. Ah. Oh. I prefer Origins Combat. Black Flag Combat was atrocious. I just didn't like it. It was. It might have looked satisfying and cinematic to watch, but to play it was just tedious. You know, Origins Combat was fun to play, not to not to watch. You got you got to prioritize what's fun for the player in a game, not as opposed to what's fun for a let's play. If you know what I mean. Well, well for watching a let's play. Do you think Watch Dogs 3 has a chance of being released at E3? I don't know. I mean, I would, I'd say that they've got a Watch Dogs 3 in the works. When they choose to release that, I'm not sure yet. Or when they when, when they choose to announce it, I'm not sure yet. But I'm I'm pretty sure that they won't leave Watch Dogs with two. They'll want to try to save it because they've tried to get it off the ground at this point. So then, so Watch Dogs 3 probably will be a thing. Just a case of when. My man's in Blackreach. Is my man's in Blackreach? It seems that way. Do Ubisoft know what a remaster means? Uh, with the Ezio collection, yeah, I like the Ezio collection. I think that's a remaster. Uh, but the Rogue remaster was just a port to current generation. I don't understand why they use the word remaster as opposed to Assassin's Creed Rogue HD. That would have been a much better choice of title. Not, not for sales, necessarily, but for honesty. And honesty shows a company being genuine makes you think they're not trying to big this up as anything more than it is i can respect that i'll probably take a look at more of their games sort of thing remaster is just a bit it's just a bit of a scummy throw really because it wasn't a remaster at all the game looks the exact same as rogue did on 360 and playstation 3 well it looks the exact same as it does on pc to be fair i'll give it that albeit still with a pretty shit frame rate um But yeah, Ubisoft aren't alien to how to remaster a game, as that's what was, that's what the Ezio collection was. Yeah, never played Watch Dogs, and I don't plan to. Mm. Watch Dogs One, I think you'll enjoy Watch Dogs One. It's a good game. Watch Dogs Two, fucking abysmal. Like seriously, it. If there is a game, if there is a a game that comes to mind when people, when I think people trying to push a political agenda in a game. The game that comes to mind is honestly going to be Watch Dogs every single time. Because that game was a political agenda and a half. It was just... It just wasn't pleasant. It was super obnoxious. It was painful is what it was, honestly. I don't remember what combination it is. There we go. Oh no, I have to activate the lexicon, don't I? Oh, fuck that. Can I get the uh, thing back? Once that's open, I can... I can Wait, the lexicon. That's oh, the transcribed lexicon. Who would want to fight Shrek or Kool Aid Man? My dad. Uh, I don't know. I've watched walkthroughs of Watch Dogs 2 and it looks crap. Yeah, it is pretty crap, to be honest with you. It, gameplay is fun, right? Okay. Gameplay is fun. Give you that. 
Story, characters, dog shit. AC fan here, but in all honesty, not really excited about Odyssey. Well, that's understandable. It's not really giving you much to be excited about yet. Come the other end. Sorry, come the other. Come the other end of E3. Maybe, maybe there'll be something to be excited about. But as it stands at the moment, there's nothing really, is there? Well, that's just how it is at the moment. You know, that could change. That's always subject to change. I just find it funny, but um, you express the slightest bit of concern. Or you know, I'm not really excited about Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Like a ton of Assassin's Creed fans just sat there waiting to. Be like, you don't even like Assassin's Creed anymore. Why do you still make videos on it? Obviously, I still like Assassin's Creed a little bit. Uh, read the Elder Scroll as Time Wound. Oh, God. I'm not ready to fight Alduin, am I? Does Fishy support Labour or the Tories? Um, kind of a neutral individual, to be honest. I'd probably say, I'd probably say if I had to choose, I'd probably go for like Labour or something, but there are other parties going, but they're all wasted votes. Well, where's the Elder Scroll? I should stick with every two years and bring back the story, and let's be honest, well, microtransaction, hell out of it. Honestly, you've got a point. But we don't know that. Yet. Take on! A glorious day, is it not? Have you no thought beyond the blooding of your blade? <laughs> what else is there? My interest in E3 are already seen Spider-Man, fair enough. Daldoon does not rise to our challenge. I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Alduin hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us, even now? We've blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone this day. But none have yet stood against Alduin himself. Sorry. I'm going to subscribe to you for over a year now. I'm glad I found your channel. I'm glad you found me. It's been a good time. Once we bring him down, I promise I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. Why is this guy dressed like a greybeard? I've only just noticed that. Which is why. Oh, well, that'll be why. Because the greybeard has to come from somewhere. We agreed not to use it. I never agreed. You are right. And will not need it. We will deal with Alduin ourselves. Don't forget to leave a like on the stream, share with your friends, hit subscribe if you're new, that all would be wonderful. This is like a shitty play. The, 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 the voice acting in Skyrim is atrocious. I always, I always wish I could skip this part of saying... I subbed to you yesterday, but I have watched for a couple of weeks. Brilliant, and you're legit hilarious. Keep up. I'll, I'll do my best. <laughs> Cheers. Dragon Rune. Oh, this is the bit where I'm using Dragon Rune.
What do you say is more challenging? God of War or The Witcher 3? They're both quite challenging. Alduin just seemed too cool to kill. The Witcher 3 because you need to prepare for fights. Yeah, that's one way to put it. That is, yeah, I'd say that's probably why Witcher 3 would be more challenging. But it does depend on what fight you're going into. Are you ever going to do a face reveal? Oh, that joke. Wow. Yes, the World Eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our souls. What I find funny is because of the EMB, I can't really see them at all. Oh shit. I'm blind. Yes, come down, for I wish to speak with you. I love Dragon Ren, we need to equip it in the favourites. Do you think that the Elder Scrolls 6 will be revealed at E3? Not this year. For those of the game studios have a couple of IPs to release, but to announce before that. At the moment they've released neither of them, so they've announced neither of them. There might be one at E3, but it won't be the Elder Scrolls. Come back down, yeah? Alduin, I've just dragon rendered you, you don't have a choice. Why is he so high a level? Why is that a thing? Yes, Parvanax, do him a dirty. They're too busy fighting, like in this lane with the hits. Come back. You fucking miss me, cut. <laughs> His face is on me, which is never good. I think I just dragon rendered the both of them. I'm not going to have enough health potions if you're not careful. Shit. Hide behind Parthenax.
we got any magical potions, that might be of use as well. I'm going to level up if I'm not careful, and that'll do it. Jesus Christ, that took its sweet time, didn't it? Why do my controls just flip out then? Why has that happened? Hold on a sec, why, have, why has that happened? Oh, there we go. Just switched over the controller. It's fine. Do not prevail against me. I will outlast you, mortal. Down through us in one objective, right? Bro, aren't you half fucked? I hope they fully fuck up AC. Obviously, see, part of me does the same because that will prove the you point. You truly have the voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. Yes, one of his allies could tell us. Mat Mahus, but it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the Going for the fish tank. Him, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dova, a fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, but your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Skyrim for Bob Ross's hair. Soom. Right, well. We need to dip into White Run anyway, because there's some. There's like an apothecary shop just outside. Massive use, sponsored by Pepsi. Diet Pepsi. Specifically, the Bepis. Have you started the Thieves Guild yet? Not really. Not in this playthrough. I've played through it several times, I remember. So I know I know all the ins and outs of the Thieves Guild. Not in this playthrough do I have I done it. Look at how gorgeous this game is. Whoa. Imagine if Assassin's Creed made a battle royale. Fuck that. Fuck that. Royally. Fuck it. Don't even. Don't even begin to contemplate Assassin's Creed Battle Royale. Talk to the Isle of Whiterun. Why is it suggesting I go in there to do that? Charm for fishy's left bicep. Oh. Yeah, let's hear it. Gentle grafter.
Where's this fucking sod? It's late to work. What hmm? for sale? Take a look. Antidote syringe. Hmm. Hmm. Look at these things. Antidote syringe, that might come in handy. Let's get ourselves... Twelve of those. Let's get some disease remedies as well. Garam is six years old, damn. Going on seven as well. Until next time. Right, well. You have the same. You don't. You have a different. Look at how much shit this guy has. Like, um, I'm gonna feel like a dickhead after buying Odyssey. Don't see how. I just bought a game. Nothing dickheadish about that. You spend money on it. Assassin's Creed Battle Royale would be hilarious. It would be agony. Vigorous healing, hmm. Okay, that's a lot, that's a lot of bare pee. Why is there Leonardo da Vinci artwork up there though? That's my question. And while we're at it, why was there a periodic table back there? Hmm? Don't know about your husband, the mayor. <laughs> Such a fucking great conversation. Yes. But when we adventure up, somebody subscribe me to Peng Lad. Oh, what a Peng boy. Of course, I'm an old school gamer. I was around when the Atari was relevant, lol. There's a nip in the air. Pretty epic. Oh, good for my crops. Never is. Those must have been the good old days. We ever stream Minecraft? Fuck that. They'll do in the medicine system from Unit in Syndicate and AC Battle Royale, oh god. Let's settle down. Don't forget to leave a like on the stream, everybody. Share with your friends. Hit subscribe if you're new. Dragons reaching the distance was pretty paying. It's a bit completely out of it, but you know, still pretty paying. Gotta go. Have fun, kiddos. All right in a bit.
If you, how old are you? 46. No, 50. 7 million years old and counting. What an old boy. What is it that you need? Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. You are a welcome guest, but you must still respect the rules of the Jarl's household. Let's get this underway, shall we? Hey, you have my... uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a... They were beautiful, Lord Missile Command was my jam when I was six. Right. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragon. What you're asking for? You want me to let the dragon into the heart of my city? With the threat of war on my doorstep? The only way to stop the dragon attacks. There must be another way. Alderun has returned. Hey, how are you, Fishy? I'm alright, Eamon. Is, is that right, Eamon? Shubba? Eamon Shubba? Shubba? Sorry, I have no idea. Was it Eamon Shubba? Either way, welcome. B Tech, B -tech Fishy suck, man. Spoken like a true Nord. I'll stand beside you, Dragonborn. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my Y'all balling, that's the one. I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. Hi, Fishy. DGT89-2006, hello. And General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat yes, of enemy Irish. attack. Yes, I'm Irish. Alright, epic. Sorry. What if you didn't have to worry about the enemy attack? Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What are the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. But do you think you'll ever go back to Detroit to become human? To, to maybe give it another go and play through a different way, maybe. Would have to listen. But I'm not sure if I'd stream it. Leave that to me. I'll talk to Wallinger about help hosting a peace council. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war in the bargain. Now, if you don't mind... Bought to on gear. I find it really hard to um, pester the greybeards all the time. Because uh, the greybeards are like, We are people of peace. How dare you bring men of war here? And it's like, it's the only way to stop the fucking dragons, you little shit. Lost yet a light before I forgot downloading. Hack GU's remake while chilling with y'all. Alright, sick. Were you surprised about Rage 2? Mm. Not too much, I wasn't too fussed by it, but it looks cool. Right, out into the courtyard. Let's go. Why is he living up there? What's that about? Is Bob Ross your hero? Ah. Well, what a guy. Aldrin? 
We heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? Yes, but he escaped. I need to find this port. I need to find his portal to Southern Guard. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. I need your help. I need to capture a dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the voice. I'll worry about capturing a dragon. I need your help to stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. The old Bulgar Front helped me while the war rages. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Both sides respect the Greybeards. They will listen. Artanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. You yeah, play Mortal Kombat? Uh, uh, not really, no. To the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Win. Guy. Righty, we need to get to Windhelm. Guess we'll go from Kynesgrove. What an adventure. I think we'll need to wait until daytime because we can't see at night. Here we are. What a good time. Away we must go. Oh no, Mortal Kombat is a classic. You have a favourite TV show? Ooh. Favourite TV show. Hmm. I don't really watch much television, to be honest. At the moment, I am quite enjoying the um, TV show Bulletproof. I wouldn't say it's anything super duper special, but it is quite fun to watch. Uh, that's only one of any TV shows going, but it's the one that I'm currently watching anyway. Worth a worth a look at least. The favourite TV show ever? Hmm. Couldn't say. Think this the game looks better than Origins? Depends on how you mod it. Because all the visuals are sort of have been altered a bit for me. Like I've modded the game quite a lot, so wouldn't have been won't be fair to say this is judge this compared to Origins. I think Origins is more modern in its base graphics. Frost farm outside the city. It's honest work. I wonder if Fallout 76 is one of the two major releases before Elder Scrolls, and Starfield being the second one with the new animation system engine. Uh, no, I think how they how they worded it was two new IPs before they get to the Elder Scrolls. Fallout's not a new IP; it's just a new franchise title. A new IP would be a new franchise, so. Starfield, and then I've got something else. A great deal of pressure on the White One. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? I have a message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They want to negotiate a truce until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to it. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Well, Alduin has returned. Alduin? The world eater of song and legend, if that's true. Remaster all your old scrolls, your thoughts. The situation doesn't. 
Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. So we'll come to the Peace Council? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. And what would you have me do? Oh dear. He's not with us. He's against us. I don't think the Bethesda will combat mod sites like mod even they can't get money from them. I don't, I don't think they can. They make their games super moddable, even to the creation club. And then in the files, it's not impossible for somebody to just mod from there. So I don't think that they will be able to... I don't think they're going to try. It's just the mods are on offer. Some will be exclusive to the creation club. And others won't. And Bethesda hate the creation club. It's Zenimax that are, are about it, you know. Bethesda themselves absolutely fucking despise that the creation club's there. I already like sub both lasers and fishy. I give them respect. I respect them a bit. All right, sick. Yes. A lot of guards. They just split up teams because jogging four different IPs would suck terribly, and the wait times might be over a decade for each IP. You never know. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? I have a message from the Greybeards. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? They're convening a peace council at High Hrothgar. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We need a truce until Dragon Menace is dealt with. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion. And I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Dragons are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. Ulfric has already agreed to attend. Has he? I suppose he doesn't want to miss a chance to bluster about the Empire's many crimes. He's probably hoping I'll refuse so he can blame the Empire for being unreasonable. I think You'll come to the Peace Council yes, then. Yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. I'm telling you. Right. Don't forget to leave a like on the stream, share with your friends, hit subscribe and all that wonderful stuff. That would be great. The Greybeards have called the Peace Council at High Rothgar. Let's go. Greymain or Battleborn? I'd say Battleborn because I tend to go Imperial on these playthroughs because that's what keeps Bulgriff in power. So, yeah. Really? Bro. Just make up your fucking mind. See, that get that texture gets it. Okay, never mind. Right, cool. These textures, what's happened to them? They've died. Oh, this is pretty shit. So, you've done it. Men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. And I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Yeah, yes. Which is why I allowed this violation of all our traditions. But regrets are pointless. Yeah. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Right, well. I find it funny that the Greybeards are quite bitter individuals. Why delay? Please. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats, so we can begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos Hunter? That didn't take long. Get from her. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. 
Are you just doing the main quest? No, I'm branching out where I can. Just with the main quest, it never feels appropriate to do so. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. Would you be happy stuck freezing your ass off on top of a mountain? Not particularly, but this is quite a warm in the this is quite a warm building, isn't it? The Thalm will have no business here. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty. Look at this tankers. The Thalmor, Is there mead in it? I want mead. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legate. We represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule... Are those Origins being your top ten games? Probably not. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullia. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here. <laughs> now leave alcohol and make discussing treaties too easy. Everyone get drunk, lol. All respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiation? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Ellison. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Ellison, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously... I can barely hear what they're saying. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. I want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Riften. Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. The Dragonborn has spoken, Dullius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have ah. you back under the headsman's... Bit of religion, I'm only issues, I'm sure to respect others. Big Dave is a nice boy. I'm gonna go now, fish. I need to sleep. Bye, everyone. Right in a bit. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise What's going on here? you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. 
Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons mean? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Aldrin. Jesus fucking, now, fr Jesus fucking Christ, go to sleep, fishy. You know as well as I do, no, I'm good for a little bit. See what talking to them gets us. Out with it then. We want Boy. compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your butchery at all the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? Oh, for it should compensate for Carthwaston. Well said. For once, you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You both agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements as long as the Imperials hold to them. 3 a.m. here. 3 a.m. here. What about you, you guys? 1 a.m. here. Are these terms to your right? Speak up. I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragon. I'm afraid there's a problem. I hope it's a serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. You discovered what? He's a dragon. Not just any dragon, but the right hand of Aldrin, responsible for many atrocities during the ancient dragon. The blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards and then the Emperor. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. How can we lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach? I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons in this room. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Aldrin has laid down. How does that help us? Don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Why? Why would he come uncalled? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Aldrin, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist. Don't you dare kill Parthenax, don't worry, I'm not going to. So, what's this dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of voice like these words, gentlemen. 
But it is written here in the scroll. Old Arby, winged snow hunter, as I read it. Any chance you'll play Kingdom Come again? Not likely. Old Dragon. Right, well that's that's always good. We now have that. But before we do that, we want to level up a bit, don't we, really? Because we're still level 17. We want to bring ourselves up a few levels. Hey, did you say something? Where has all the wing... What about Parthenites? Justice can be harsh. Still justice. Parthenax deserves to die. Why does he need to die? Parthenax was the author of many atrocities during the Dragon War. Crimes great enough to be remembered for thousands of years. True, he turned traitor to all this and helped overthrow the Dragon Cult. But that does not excuse or expiate his previous deeds. Whether or not he has truly repented or merely acted to save himself, justice demands that he pay with his life. Do the right thing. Parthenax deserves to die. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Why does he need to die? Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. I like how the game tries to manipulate you to kill Parthenax. Fuck off, game. We're gonna go do a few bounties, just do something chill for a little bit. Then we'll continue with the main story, say, next Iron Street. Right, in we go. Can you stream the day of E3? Uh, I think that... Do you mean the weekend of E3? I think everybody's going to be super busy. What's your problem? Yeah, what's your problem? Everyone's going to be super busy at E3. What can I get you? Me? Here, take a look at this. Some of the yards... Kill the dragon located at Northwind Summit. This is the exact challenge that I need. Is it better to be born good or evil and overcome those evils? That's, doesn't Parthenax just say that? Watch Mojo, Mojo, Mojo. Gotta go, right, in a bit, old man gamer. The boy too, please don't spam the chat. Is it us there? Right, to uh... Fort Greenwald. No, 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 no. Use your hidden blade. Lol. Lol. Funny Assassin's Creed joke. As always, hilarious because it's out of place. There's always a battle going on here. Can't rely on it ever being peaceful. Oh, damn it. Day after? You never know. I'll stream it when I stream. What do you think about Assassin's Creed Odyssey? Uh, there's nothing to think about yet, mostly. If that answers your question. Oh, what was this boy doing? He got himself done. Just 
Just saying, Big Dave comments run me off. Right, cool. If Big Dave is a bot, there is literally no way that that should bother you. Is there any chance you could like kindly not? So. Fighting a combustion combustion dragons look cool, don't they? I've got a mod that adds a better variety of dragons. They look pretty nice. There we go. I've got I've got my shot of the slain dragon boy. Oh my god, right, word of power. Life or a whisper. Why not? And I why do dragons eat weaponry? That's what I want to know. What is that addiction? It needs to stop. That's a skeleton, right. I'm gonna play the DLC, the DLC for what? get Hemming Blackbriar to give us the reward that we deserve. Skyrim. The Gyrim. Yes, milady. I'm Riften's appointed steward. How can I help you? The dragon at Northwind Summit is dead. I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. I want you to speak. You do well to remember who's in charge sure around here. Assassin's Creed 3 needs a new protagonist. What? Mate, that is my dad. What the fuck's he doing out here? He's just laying out here loving life. Over he goes. Oh, oh. Mate. The Greybeards have arranged a truce between the Stormcloaks and him. How long can such a thing last? Are you feeling sick? New in town, eh? Here for the people. Yes, boys. What can I get you? Here, take a look at this. Kill the dragon located at Autumn Watchtower. Yes, another dragon. 
Kill some dragons is the perfect training, the training we need. Speaking of training, we should find a trainer. My food. Some fresh meat to fill your belly. If you're looking for a handout, you want to speak with my husband. You. you gonna buy I'll teach you how to use it effectively and keep you quick on your feet. You're gonna stare. I'll teach you how to use it effectively and keep you quick on your feet. Visiting Riften? There we go, we're near the level 19 already. That's the type of shit that we need. Resma 100, that'll be. Yes, boys. That's your dad. It's a meme. Right. Where are we going? Where do you want the Elder Scrolls 6 to be located? I don't know. I've not been thinking about it. Uh, Hammerfell. Because it'll be quite the polar opposite to Skyrim. Because Skyrim's all snowy, Hammerfell's are very much like well, snowy and tundra. Hammerfell's are very desert ish. Oh, a bear. A bear massacring somebody on the road. A thief. Oh, damn. These bears of the rift have gotten tired of the thieves everywhere. It wasn't a thief, it was just a random guy. Late night boys, yes Mr. Shen. The late night boys are out. Shut up big Dave, yes boy. Doesn't screen in Japan or is that too much of a meme? I don't, know, I don't know. Depends on what you define as a meme. <laughs> Mate, really? I'm quite clearly able to take you all down. Why do you still insist? Vainwood. I mean, Valenwood. Because that would work. Why have I still got Dragon White Rendy? Equipped. I do not need this equipped. Off with the man's nog. You playing with mods? Yeah. Rip to that bear. Indeed, let's level up real quick. Right, cool. Make a poem. Who wants ATC to have a sequel? God damn it. Let's not. How's that sound? Is that a glass sword? No, it's a, uh, it's a katana. The mod. That adds uh, more swords and things. Sounds better than Odyssey at this point. You don't know, we haven't heard anything about Odyssey, so I couldn't tell you. Some better or worse.
Odyssey sounds trash. There's nothing about it that's been... We haven't heard anything official about it, though. So... Crystal Dragon, mate, are you mental? What do you mean you've got a Crystal Dragon getting about? Flipping on his wands. What a guy. This man's insane. Look at how much punishment this deals out. Why are you attacking me? There's a big fuck off thing there. It's probably more threatening to you than I am. Really? Shout and not shout? Okay. I hate it when it does that. Fucking hell. Well. You quick save often. Yeah, I quick save all the time. I'm always hit. I'm always over there pressing that button. There. Wow. Yeah. Okay. This is a funny angle to be doing this at. Where'd it go? Hey. At least I get the dragon soul. But the rumors about it being set with King Leonardus and stupid stuff like that, which if you look into, you can clearly prove fake. If you watch my video where I go over the information, you can see me break it down quite quickly and you'll uh, you'll see you'll see exactly how bullshit that that tweet thread is actually full of or how much bullshit is full of dragon ate shit he became worm food he lives underground now here's one with the farmer now I like it when dragons sort of crash land and they have this about them pretty fun Oh, what's this shack? We need to get this. Sh oh, I know what the shack this is. The nice. It's Froki's shack, isn't it? Am I in the right place? It could be Froki's shack. I think it is. Yeah, it is. Hey, buddy. Hello, Kanan. Hello. I'm 11 years old and I can't like here. It ain't so bad. I miss living with my parents back in Helgen though. Froki can't cook and there's nobody to talk to up here. Were your parents killed at Helgen? Yeah, but don't say anything about it to Froki. I don't think he understands. Mm hmm Just what we need. City folk barging in. Probably looking for an offering to their precious divines. I don't believe in the divines. Good. This is Skyrim, and we should honor the old ways. These foreigners don't even respect their own gods, much less kind in her sacred trials. Well, the sacred trials. It's an old Nord tradition. <sighs> a test to prove your worth in the eyes of kind. Show that you're a hunter and no simple butcher. Kind teaches. That kid's face looks like it's been scorched off. Yeah. And blesses the hunter who will face their champions. True Nord hunters are those who survive the trials. Do you think you're strong enough for Kine's blessing? I would be glad to pass this tradition down. Yes, tell me what to do. You must defeat guardian beasts. 
blessed by kind. I will anoint you with the symbol of the wolf, the crab, and the skeever. This will compel the guardian to appear when you reach his lair. Here's where you need to go. Mm -hmm. I'm 11 years old and I could take you. Dover Keen. Your playthrough of Syndicate is full of more glitches than your playthrough of AC Unity. Doesn't say very much when both games are fucking glitchy as they come. We should make an AC for the Civil War. Depends on which Civil War. People go, keep going, the Civil War. It's like, there's been hundreds, if not thousands, of Civil Wars throughout history. So, be more specific. Obviously, the American one. Divine smile on you, friend. Excellent. You've done us a nobody, great service. Here is your nobody outside America refers to that as the Civil War. It's just the American War. We've had it. We've had civil wars over here too. Right, kind sacred trials is the class we're doing. That kid sounded like young Anakin from Phantom Menace. He didn't really sound that much like him. I saw your laser sword. Where are we going? Hmm. They're all in the middle of no. Oh, that one's right by my house. Overkeen. Is he in any Discord voice channels? Up. Oh, uh, hello, Stoneheart. Yes, hop on the back of this tiny horse. What do you need, my thane? Of course. What room would you like? I'll make all the. Come on! Honored to see you again, my thane. That kid was the one Elderman was going to kill when he came out of the inn in Helgen. Yeah, I know. Hello there, Lowell and the Nightingale. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Bard Llewellyn, known as the Nightingale. Your steward has arranged for me to take service with you. I'd better get going. There's there's a cool mannequin, isn't it? Got Daedra Karma on it for some reason. Uh, pretty sick house where I belong. Man needs his fat kip. Need the fattest kip going, and I need to. Stop. My Lydia died. Oh. My bad, obviously. Nice sound effects, to be fair, that from outside. In the weather, it's how the weather affects interiors as well. Pretty cool. Go out in, it's raining, see? Pretty sorted, that. In my foe. <laughs> Defeated the guardian wolf. Next one's the mud crab, let's go from Rorik said. Look at how Rorik's dead looks. Pretty aesthetically pleasing. 
Why are you following me? It's a wild horse and it's stumpier than a bloody... Oh, God. I not even go there. I used Dirk Ethos as my follower in the Dark Brotherhood initiate. Both have good armour. Hmm. Dark Brotherhood initiate Dirk Ethos. I remember Dirk Keith, so now he's an Argonian. There's a dragon over there getting about. Fish, good news, fishy. My channel's starting to grow again. That's always good news. I'm trying to go mine as well. Well, if you keep at it, you'll get there. It don't happen overnight, but it does happen. So, it's all about the work. Keep going. Yeah. No good effect. Oh dear. Really? Two of you. I've contracted rock joint. Beautiful. That's why I have this to cure myself of said ailments. Duca Monument. Nice. Keep going. It is now a bleeding ghost. Oh no, it's dead. Beat the Guardian Mud Crab. He's an Argonian Ranger. I'm trying to remember from where. Why do you run into Dirk Ethos? Does he do you run into him on the road? I'm trying to remember where you run into Dirk Ethos, it's pretty tough. I was almost stuck at around 720 for a few months, now gained seven since yesterday. Yeah, we'll keep making content and it'll keep going up. From here on out it should be should be Pretty soon you'll be at a thousand, and then it will be two thousand before you know it, and three thousand, four thousand, five thousand before you know it. It'll wind up at ten, and then it might be twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, and then so on. Gotta keep at it. Speaking of thousands, we're approaching sixty thousand quite quickly. We're uh, we're one thousand five hundred away. That's my favourite kind of dragon ever. Isn't it? Alright, well, this guy needs to get absolutely cut the piece of oh god. Any chance you can not like him? Nice. Really? Over there? I have all the help you and me. Yeah, but tons of advice means a lot. Alright, all good. You must be dragon rendered. It's always good when the, the game lag spikes when you're fighting a dragon. Makes it super tense. Alright, well, he's now dead. It's fine. How long we'll be going? Ooh, we'll be wrapping up shortly, I'd say. About 10 minutes where I'd be wrapping up in. But we'll see.
Ski the Guardian must die. And just like that, it's dead. Return to Froki. Right. Return to Froki. You playing on PC? Yeah. Don't forget to leave a like on the stream. Let's get to 50 likes before we inevitably wrap up soon. A few more weeks, I'll finish school, man. Then the grind really starts. I'm gonna kill a dragon all by myself. Yeah. You look awful. Better I'd defeat the Guardians. Maybe you're not so soft after all. I'll anoint you with the symbol of the bear, the saber cat, and the mammoth. Tread carefully. These are mighty beasts. Here's where you need to go. Oh god, more of these. Let me make myself a stew before we go. I have no ingredients to make a stew. This is a shame. Oh, officially, do you have a TV license? It's the UK. You kind of have to have one. But yeah. The household does have a TV license. How far away is it? Oh, it's there. Thank you for your time. Talk to you later. a delay on stream uh shouldn't be too long you have a license for your kitchen knives we don't need a license for kitchen knives the television thing is more of a safety thing i think i have no idea why that exists but the wisp mother out in the open We've got to avoid the shade and just hit the wisp mother. So close, don't crush on me now. What a shame. It chose to crush when we were fighting a very tense boss. Oh, it was a wisp mother. It was just, it was just a cool little thing. As wisp mothers tend to be. Just cool, and it was just there. Right, let's quickly fire back up, shall we? You will soon. Same for porn by the end of 2018. Fair enough. Gotta like getting licenses for everything. Probably have like a PlayStation license soon enough. Oh, it's firing up now. At least it's trying to. It actually just crashed on launch. Right. Try again. Right, let's get it back up. That one arsehole who just liked the stream love. AMB series is compiling game shaders, please wait. Right, K. 
Okay. Go like that. Might take a little minute here. We'll see. There we go, the shader is active now. I seen by how everything looks nice. Also, can the copyright thing get out of the corner, please? In my way. There we go. Got lots of for illegally breathing up the air from this area. How's your life been? It's been alright. Man is boy. <laughs> Guess we're just gonna save it here to be honest with you. I don't I don't feel going any further. Well I feel as if this is as far as we should go. It feels as if it's a sign. But we shouldn't we shall continue Kine's sacred trials for the day. I don't know why I fired up the stream. I wanted it to look nice mapped up. That's why. But anyway. <laughs> thank you all for coming along. Hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. I haven't played Skyrim since I was in year nine. Can you answer a question? Uh, kind of heading off now. But thank you all for coming along. Hope you all enjoyed. Do you have a license for other things? Like asking about their license. License. Are you excited for Fallout 76? Yeah, a little. I'm excited to see what that's about. But yeah, thank you all for coming along. Hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like on the stream, share with your friends, hit subscribe if you're new. Why share I mean the channel, that'll be really appreciated. Appreciated. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it, it's, it's here. Hold on, let's get rid of... Let's get rid of... No, let's get rid of what is the image. It's that. There you go. You can follow You can follow me on Twitter if you want to. I'd really appreciate that as well. And I'll see you all very soon with another stream at some point. So yeah, goodbye everybody.